This is rated 4.6 stars out of almost 60,000 reviews. And you know what? I can kind of see why. This game, man, I did not expect it to be nearly as good as it ended up being. Very rarely am I taken by surprise. And rarely do I begin any of these videos, any of these first looks, talking about how much I enjoyed the game before actually talking about anything else. So, Goddess of Genesis starts you off with the traditional introduction to the game. Then you're greeted with tons of different tutorials, probably more tutorials than I would otherwise like, with almost the entire first chapter being taken up by said tutorials. Like, I kid you guys not, there were so, so many. After finally obtaining access to the game, not being forced, well, not forced, rather handheld through every feature the game has to offer, you're greeted by not only a very large, expansive story, but also a ton of the game to actually play. Seriously, this game has quite a bit to do, and quite a few different heroes to collect. I only got, what, like 12, 13 total from the various different free summons? Enough to make my harem of waifus, though, which you guys should already have known was coming. Like, let's be real here, how can a game go on to receive almost 60,000, I mean, not all of them are positive, but almost 60,000 positive reviews if the game doesn't allow you to create your own waifu harem, right? Now, this game looks really good. Graphically, I haven't played many mobile games that look nearly as good as this one does. The character models, both in battle and out of battle, look incredible. The backdrops for each battle also look pretty damn good. Special abilities were really flashy. You know, I actually really like when characters go into that special little skill animation thing where they get their own little scene that plays out as they go on to use their special ability. Granted, I know it can get a little bit repetitious, trust me I do, especially if you can't skip it, but I feel like it's a really cool little addition to every game. Combat was turn-based, you'd take a turn, they'd take a turn, rinse and repeat, You'd select your skill from a list of abilities located down at the bottom right of the screen, or you could set the game to auto battle. Admittedly, I did have it set to auto battle for a while as I was working, but I played back and forth in between breaks. One thing I did notice though, was that the AI was much better than I am, much faster than I am. I feel like this is a reoccurring theme. I don't know if I like it or not. The story was also pretty solid. There was story both before and after each mission, and there was quite a lot of it. The game took place about as you'd expect. There were chapters, and each chapter had a selection of different missions you could participate in. One interesting thing worth noting is that while yes, the game was mostly about progressing through the various different missions and chapters, there were plenty of these fun little mini game things that were present to take part in, mini games that I found to be kind of fun. Overall, Goddess of Genesis is a beautiful mobile RPG. It looks great, it has some really good combat, and it has a lot of solid story to play through. Yes, it is a gotcha game. I I'm unsure how good or bad the rates are in game, but honestly, if you tackle gacha games as just a game that you play, rolling and progressing with whatever characters you get, you'll have a much better experience, trust me. But this is my opinion, my impressions of the game based off of what I played. What do you guys think? Have you tried this game out? Does it look like something you guys are interested in? Let me know down in the comments below and let's talk about it. Anyway guys, that is it for me. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it, yeah Our hard work's gonna be worth it, ooh